generation. Hey, welcome back, Ojai Valley. Check out satellite and radar this morning. Some cloud coverage out there, and it's more so fog targeting parts like Moundsville, the, the places that don't really get to see the wind speed. And speaking of wind, very, very light and variable. That's why it's so humid to start our game. It's going to be humid as we head closer to lunchtime. The only thing that's really going to get that cloud coverage out of here is going to be the heat and it's going to spark our atmosphere. It's going to start to lift everything as well as mix up that wind. So if you're wondering what causes wind, well, it's the temperature that's heating it, everything back up here at the surface. But in the meantime, as we head closer to lunchtime, it is going to be humid. It's also going to be hot and it's also going to be the summer solstice. That means we have about 15 hours and one minute of daylight. So the most amount of sunshine you could possibly squeeze in a day. And in the meantime, yes, it's going to be hot and humid by the time we enter this afternoon and evening. But the good news is if you think back to Monday and Tuesday, it was more so dealing with the sunshine and blue skies. Yesterday it was the cloud coverage. We swapped out those blue skies for the white and it was more so hazy out there. That's what limited our potential for max heating. But today we kick back that heat. We crank it all the way up all time high, starting out mostly cloudy and then we'll become sunny by this afternoon and evening. And with that being said, we've heard reports of this. Uh, it seems like you guys are downplaying that heat out there, but the potential for 95 degree temps, 10, 30, 60 minutes. Check that 140 degrees down there at the bottom right corner of your screen. That is absolutely way too hot. That's what we're stepping out to by the time it's 1, 2 p.m. this afternoon and evening. The cars are way too hot, especially if you have a black car or just leather interior. The heat hits us at an extreme as we step into Saturday. So if you're planning on going to try to beat the heat at the pool, keep in mind the UV index is at an 11. So it's at an all time high, the highest it could possibly get and you'll get burnt just like that. Doesn't matter if you have a tan or not. We head back into the upper 80s, lower 90s through the middle of next work week, but still we're dealing with the heat. It just depends on how much heat can you really withstand. Can you handle the mid to, the mid to upper 90s? That's where we're going to be at today. I am not partaking in that whatsoever. I'll stay indoors. Check this out. Thursday, the rest of your day, we'll see some spotty instability over Steubenville, where it seems to be the target location. Why? Well, it's just due to the river. It's sitting right over there, and we have some instability lingering down into the Ohio River Valley from the lakes. The rest of your day, nothing to complain about. Wake up Friday morning. Once again, hot and humid due to the lack of wind speeds. We will have the potential for some spotty afternoon buildups, but once again, I'm not expecting a whole lot of action. We'll head into Saturday, exactly the same conditions, and then check out Sunday. Finally, a chance to see some rainfall and actually cool down. We're going to have a passing system. We're getting rid of that high pressure that we've been dealing with. It will unfortunately return, but not until the middle of next work week where we climb back into the upper 80s, lower 90s, but finally returning back to a normal scheduled routine where Mother Nature provides rainfall every two to three days.